Are you serious? Are you serious? The mark of the beast, the RFID microchip technology. That's why I wrote the book, RFID, mark of the beast, RFID. Uh, it's only at my website. But the reason is because the technology that's being developed and being enhanced is gaining steam every day, and so is the New World Order preparing to be launched right before your very eyes. Bible prophecy. Grab a Bible. I got to go to Revelation 13. But first, wait till you hear this report. Scientists are unnerving trick to plant false experiences into people's brains. Let me say that again. Scientists are using unnerving tricks to plant false experiences in people's brains they're able to put in your brain an experience that you think you have experienced before as a memory when it's not even true now um, scientists and researchers have recently begun to study how to induce knowledge is what they call it induce knowledge through the visual cortex According to a newly published article, Scientific Study, the, the group of scientists and researchers were able to train volunteers into seeing colors that they had not seen before. Thinking that they had seen a color of something, but they had never seen it before, yet they could explain it. So they tricked their brain into saying they had seen it before. The team of scientists and researchers are su suggesting that this new technique could one day be used for education and therapeutic reasons. Really? I don't need that kind of therapy. I don't need the FEMA therapy. What? Get in the red line. Get in the blue line. Get in the green line. Get out of line. I mean, are you serious? And then it says, this is the first clear study that shows that V1 and V2 are capable of creating associative learning, is what they're calling it. Uh, let me just tell you what the Bible calls it. The technology that is, could be used for the mark of the beast. Folks, the technology is catching up with the biblical prophecy. Here's what it says in the Word. In Revelation 13, 13, Revelation 13, 13. And he, the Antichrist, it says, and he doth great wonders so that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And he deceived them that dwell on the earth by them, the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He will be able to make you think the image is alive. He had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six, or, in other words, six, six, Six. Are you serious? Are you are you talking Mark of the Beast here? Is the technology catching up with the prophecy? We're going to talk about it tonight. Don't miss this broadcast. I mean, we've got so much big time stuff. <laughs> Europe's about ready to blow up into World War III. Middle East has went into madness. Obama's running around in Spain. Black Lives Matter is uh, are t just stirring up all kinds of uh, rallies all across the country. Police have been shot. Police have shot people. Chaos, corruption in Washington, 148 fireballs in the sky. Are you listening to me? 7 p.m. Eastern at my website.
Are you serious? What? It is the last days. This is the apocalyptic hour. We're on the brink of the beast. This, we're on the edge of eternity. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Don't be left behind. Give your life to Jesus Christ and have joy. And that's the only joy you're ever going to get. Look, in the world, you're going to have trouble, Jesus said, but in me, you'll have peace. 